We begin today by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we stand on today and pay our respects to the elders, past, present and emerging. Close your eyes and imagine your land being stolen by triants and hypocrites. Your land on which you may not even eat on. Your land on which you may not even sleep on. Your land on which you may not even be cured on. Let me tell you, this is happening right now to the people of Gaza. Look at us, children in Brisbane with families, friends, and people who could look after them. Then look at the people in Gaza. No family, no friends, and no one to look after them. Shame! Shame. Now look at the children in Brisbane with food, water, and electricity. Now look at the children in Gaza. No food, no water, and no electricity. The children in Gaza are no different for the children of Brisbane. They both deserve equal rights. I have really had it with this government. The great adults in the Labour Party can barely even utter a ceasefire, but the courageous children here can. This topic is not complex. It is not only for adults. It is for us children who represent the oppressed children of Gaza. And I have been to all the protests where the blazing sun was at its worst, where the rain was showering on us, but nothing will ever stop us from protesting, not even our Australian government. <laughs> Israel is committing a war crime, and it's not self-defense. What Palestine is doing is self-defense, and nothing can stop us from standing up for Palestine. Free, free, Palestine! Free, free!